Welcome to the freaking weekend. And we're starting early with something beyond exciting. Beyond exciting. Scrimpy, are you so excited? We are going to kick off the weekend on this Thursday evening with Taylor Swift, the Eras Tour in concert. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Honestly, I think, I think this strategy is actually good. So we were going to go tomorrow night, but Taylor released that they actually are releasing most theaters, most locations a night early, meaning it was supposed to come out tomorrow on the 13th, duh, but it's actually coming out tonight. And one movie theater in Shawnee is showing one showing of it. There aren't assigned seats, so we're going a little bit early. I'm afraid we're not going early enough and we're gonna have to sit on like the front row, but we were able to get tickets, which works in our favor because most other places are pretty much sold out in the city because duh. But I'm thinking that we may be getting under the radar. I say that, but it's probably gonna be insane there. And all I wanna do is just sit there in complete, like no emotions and just like soak in as much of it as humanly possible. So I think I'm gonna be really annoyed if it's like chocked full of screaming little girls and I can't hear the actual like movie. But anyway, I'm just so excited. I can't freaking wait. So here we go. Welcome to the freaking weekend. We've got a lot going on and we're starting it off with a bang. And tea swizzle. <laughs> Eric, I would just like to say you're a very good husband. You think there's going to be a bunch of screaming children? I do. Let's go. Okay, this is the best news ever. This parking lot is empty are you freaking kidding me this is the best decision i've ever made this is the thing this is the thing about being a taylor swift fan you have it she she releases things so last minute that probably a lot of people in shawnee specifically just like didn't get the memo or already have tickets oh my gosh if we are by ourselves in this theater i'm gonna die <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. I will try to calm down. <laughs> well, Scrimpy, we're two of four people in this theater. I'm so glad we came early. LOL. I'm so excited. We got concert posters. We got friendship bracelets. They say AMC. So, not that stoked about them, but we're going. And look, I got a collectible reusable cup. And I will reuse it. So happy, so excited. All the pre-movie like trivia is all Taylor Swift themed. This is amazing. It's currently taking us on a fashion journey through the years of Taylor Swift. I, I just love it. Oh man, you guys. 
that was so good. <laughs> it was so good, but now I'm like really freaking sad <laughs> that I never got tickets and didn't get to go. Like really sad. Like I kind of, especially sitting in a theater that had no people in it, I kind of felt like a loser. <laughs> Oh man, but it was awesome. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Ugh. I'm thinking 2024, I may just have to spend a fortune on resale tickets because once again, I got waitlisted. So you know I'm not getting tickets to the 2024 American dates that were added. So all hope is not lost yet, but I'm glad in the meantime, I got to see the movie. It just <sighs> cut me right here, cut me deep. <laughs> what did you think of it, Scroopy? I mean, there was nothing from debut era, which deeply bothers me. <laughs> and also, I, <laughs> I've listened to my fair share of Taylor Swift. Uh -huh. But never like all the different like eras side by side like that. Yeah. I can pretty definitively say, I'm not a fan of 1989. What? I like style, but every other song that she played from 1989, I was like, yeah, I don't. You don't like Blank Space? Nah, it's fine. Oh, I love Blank Space. Okay. The <laughs> album I don't love, besides one obvious song, is the Red Album. Like, that's the album I connect to the least, minus All Too Well, which is in my top three favorite Taylor Swift songs of all time. Made me realize how much I really love her new stuff, too. Like, my favorite classic Taylor Swift is obviously Speak Now, which we only had one song from Speak Now. That was so sad. I was like, what the heck, Taylor? What the heck, Tay Tay? I was bummed when I realized when we were in the folklore era mm -hmm. that my favorite song wasn't going to get played because Bon Iver obviously oh, doesn't yeah. travel with Taylor <laughs> on tour. So I was like, ah, oh, we're yeah. not going to hear Exile. That's a bummer. But I loved how much of Folklore and Evermore, and especially Midnight's, she played. I love the Midnight's album. I know it got mixed reviews from fans, but like, that's one of my favorite albums of hers. I really love it. So. Uh, it was great. It was wonderful. What a great way to kick off the weekend a little early, but I am just a little depressed now and more determined than ever to freaking sell a kidney to buy tickets. Hello, friends. It is, is today Friday? Yep. Oh my gosh. I am just like, today has been about seven days long, just so everyone knows. It's Friday evening. We're on our way to something very fun, but first let me tell you about our crazy day today. So, Eric obviously had to work all day, so he was, you had a really busy day at work today for a Friday especially. I worked half a day, Fridays are my half day, and oh, the sun is so bright, sorry for that bad angle. So, normally Fridays are my like slowest day, my chillest day. I take what I call a Friday nap every Friday where I take a nap in the afternoon because I don't have to work and it's the most amazing glorious time. Well, not today, let me just tell you. Our house was basically a disaster and I don't really know why. Like this week, it was just like, you hate it when I say our house is a disaster. <laughs> Eric always hates it. Everyone's house is a disaster. People can relate to that, Scrimpy. It's, it's not. I speak in hyperbole. You know this about me. You married me. Okay, so our house had lots of living going on in it the past week. So there were lots of messes to clean up. Is that a better way of describing our house? So I cleaned up a lot of freaking stuff today. So did Eric in his spare time. Um... I did a bunch of just like random stuff that's been on my to-do list, started laundry, grocery shopping at Aldi actually for the first time in a long time. I don't know if that video will be out or not yet, but if it is, I'll link it up here. If it's not, here's your reminder to subscribe and stay tuned because we've got lots of fun, exciting videos coming twice a week at you. And uh, we need your help to get to our goal of hitting a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So now that that's done, we basically just like pushed up until we had to leave to our fun plans tonight, which are we are going to Edmond Memorial High School to see our friend Patrick is the drama teacher and the theater director out there. He is directing Little Women and that's one of my all-time favorite shows. Um, he's doing the play, not the musical, and we're going to see it. It's opening night and I'm so excited. I can't wait. And that's what we're doing. So come along with us for a fun Friday night. And then we've got some even bigger tomorrow. 
lots of driving tomorrow. Let's just say that. Stay tuned. We are here. I'm so excited. Oh yeah. All right, it is many hours later. We thoroughly enjoyed that performance of Little Women. It, especially for a high school show, it was very well done. Some really, really talented kids. We thoroughly enjoyed ourselves, didn't yep. we, Scrimpy? It was great. And we just, ow, that hurt me. We just stopped at On Cue on our way back home because we didn't really, well, Eric ate dinner. I ate a late lunch. And so by the time we got out of the show, we were like, oh, I'm so hungry. Um, so we got a little gas station late night snack to tide us over for the hour drive home. So that's Friday night. We'll see you tomorrow because we're getting up bright and early. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, friends. I have not brushed my curls out, so I look a little cray cray, but hello. we are headed somewhere very special today. Scroopy, tell the people where we're going on this bright, beautiful Saturday morning. Texas. I hate Texas. To a wedding. It's worth it though. I guess we'll cross the threshold of our least favorite state. Our, no, yours. I don't have any prejudice against the state. I do. Um, just kidding. I don't Shout really out to all care. The Texas viewers. I'm just kidding. I, I hate you. I actually quite like the shopping that's in Texas. So, we are going to Texas for a very special reason. Our dear friend Rachel is getting married, and we're very sad because she's moving away to Texas. But that's okay. We're still very happy for her, and I cannot wait for her wedding. I'm so excited. So, we are headed to Texas. We decided, so originally we were gonna go stay and do like a little Dallas weekend, but we had other plans last night. It's an afternoon wedding, so I just had assumed it was in the evening, but it's an afternoon wedding, it's from two to five. So it was kind of perfect to drive down, go to the wedding, and then we have plenty of time to drive back home. So we thought less time that the dogs have to be without us. So we are just heading back this evening. So we're going on a little road trip today. Road trip, road trip. Six hours of driving, seven hours of driving in one day. Can't freaking wait, so excited. All right, I've been driving many an hour. Actually, just really like two hours, a little more. And there we go, welcome to freaking Texas. Still haven't brushed out my curls. We'll see how long they last. We already stopped once to go to the bathroom. We have been listening to Taylor Swift this entire time. scrimpy has been very nice. We've made it through Folklore, Evermore. We listened to Midnight's last night on the way to um, Edmond. And now we're on Lover. So we're just like taking a backward trajectory through Taylor's albums. So pretty fun. Um, we left my favorite period of Taylor Swift. Eric's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, being very nice to me. Um, okay, so we are gonna stop at Quick Trip real quick in just a little bit. Um, to, I guess we could stop at Bucky's. There's a Bucky's. No, Bucky's is overrated. Um, although I do love their banana pudding fudge. Anyway, and their ices. They have the best ices. We are going to stop at Quick Trip to pee for the second time and get a little snack because I'm getting really freaking hungry. And I don't think there's going to, I think there will be like finger foods at the reception, but that won't be for a while. So we probably should eat a little sum sum to tide us over. So that's how it's going. We have about an hour left. Okay, so we just got done at the wedding. It's very hot in Texas. I'm not, it's 83 outside. It's freaking fall. It was a beautiful wedding. We're so happy for Rachel and her dress. Oh my gosh, her dress. Well, you guys saw it. I got a little sneak clip for you. Her dress is beautiful. What's the restaurant called? <laughs> Emma and Alec are here with us. So here we go. But it was a gorgeous wedding. Buckle your seatbelt. Rachel's dress was incredible. And we are very happy for them. So time to go home. Oh, it's much later. We're still in the car. How's it going, Scrimpy? Good. I took a little nappy poo in the car. Now it's like, um, what's it called? Dusk outside? Yeah. Sun is setting and we are about an hour away from home. So, um, yeah, there's that. It's been a successful road trip so far. Only had to stop once. Shocking. See you at home. We made it home to the puppies. All the puppies. Hello. <laughs> oh, you okay, little Pippa? Um, do we have any other plans this evening, Scrimpy? No. 
I think I'm going to go take a nice long bath. Ugh. You know when you have a feeling that your butt bone needs to pop? No. No. Oh. Did Pippa just say no? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? That sounded like she said no. Well, I feel like my butt bone needs to pop right now. <laughs> but I can't pop it. Anyway, uh, we'll see you tomorrow when something fun's going on. But this was a very long and good Saturday. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Sunday. Um, I slept in a little bit this morning. That was so happy. And right now I am just chilling in bed, clearly. Haven't brushed my hair. Um, still have makeup on from yesterday. I am going to spend some time editing this morning. Eric is outside working on something very interesting. Um, maybe I'll show you that in a little bit, but we are basically doing nothing today. I may run up to the city and go to anthropology to go um, dress shopping for a wedding we've got coming up that I have a couple dress options, but I kind of want to peruse and see if there's something new and fun out there I could uh, get my hands on. So what we're doing today, not, not many plans. Very happy about that. Okay, it's a few hours later. I still look like this, but I'm about to go get myself ready for the day and head to the city to go dress shopping, but let me show you what Eric's up to. Oh, that was a very chipper hello to the vlog. What you doing, Scrimp? Pulling staples. He's working on his table. Would you like to explain to the people what this is? It's a table. Put table. Um, so this is an old poker slash bumper pool table that I found on Facebook Marketplace for $30. Nice. Um, because they had already like stripped a lot of it and it was in not terrible shape, but pretty bad shape. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been out here working on it, uh, sanding it down, getting it ready to stain. But the backstory is you've been looking for a gaming yeah. table like this for probably years at this point. Yeah. Um, and this one kind of perfectly fit the bill. So you're going to stain it. This part in the middle it looks just like a... Hexagon. Hexagon. I was trying to count the sides to see what shape it was, um, but there's actually tape underneath that. It makes the design of a D20, um, which if you don't know what that is, neither did I a year ago. What is a D20? A 20-sided die. It's used for tabletop role-playing games like D&D &D and other stuff. So he's going to paint the design on here, which he's done the first coat, and then stain the rest of the table so that the design will show through, but it'll still be cohesively stained. Mm. And then you'll seal and wax it as well, right? Uh, polyurethane. Just polyurethane, yeah. Hopefully it'll turn out awesome and be like the perfect gaming table for when the guys come over to record the podcast. Eric has a very successful D&D &D podcast called Eberron Renewed, if you didn't know. Check it out if you want to see a D20 in action. <laughs> and uh, he's been hard at work sanding and cleaning up. So we'll keep you updated on the progress of the table. All right, I've gotten ready for the day and driven to the city. I am outside of anthropology about to go in. Hopefully this is a one-stop shop, easy dress shopping experience, but you never know with me. It's typically not very easy because I am hard to please. So let's pop on in and see what anthropology has. In we go. Let's see what anthro has today. All right, I'm about to get distracted by the Christmas. Oh no, I didn't realize it was already out. This is bad. Okay, a couple of promising options. They have a nice holiday dress section, which is really good. Look at that one. I just love that one, but I do not want spaghetti strap. Love it. Oh no, I'm about to get so distracted. This is not good at all. <gasps> oh, Christmas. Anthropology Christmas, look at those. Oh my gosh, I can't even. Okay, I've got three interesting options. I'll show you each one. Well, that was a total strikeout. That one was hideous. That one was hideous. That one was hideous. Okay, update. I am in Torrid, which is a sh store I never shop in. It's a plus size store. Lots of dress options here. And I think I found one that's super, super comfy and cute. Let me show you, very full. So cute. I really like it. I love the sleeve of it. It's like a green, very fall. Most importantly, it's extremely comfortable. I'm gonna be able to dance the night away at the wedding in it. I think it's perfect. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Just made it home and uh, Scrimpy is still in the garage working on his table, so let's see what it looks like. How's it going with you? Good. Oh, look at that. So did you not wait for the paint to cure? Uh, you're not supposed to. Oh, really? Yep. 
Wow, nice, it looks cool so far. Are you happy with it? So far, yeah. All right, and now we are off again. This time Scrimpy's with me. What up? Forgot I put a bun in my hair. I need to take it down and make it a pony again, but um, we're going to eat some Din Din. Um, Where you want to go? I kind of want to go to Castoris. Okay. How do you feel about that? Sure. Can we eat some Mexican food? Chips and queso? Second day in a row. We did have Mexican food yesterday. Well, you know, YOLO. Let's go eat some yummy food. Okay, um, well, we devoured our food, so it's already gone. I forgot to vlog. Um, it was very yummy. Right, Scrimpy? Mm -hmm. I am extremely stuffed now. Oh, that is some brat light. All right, friends, we are ending this vlog how we started it, in the vehicle. We've had a lot of freaking hours in this car this weekend, Scrimpy. Yep. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to help us toward our goal. And we will see you in the next one.